Hello guys, today I would like to talk about the new film idea that I'm mainly inspired by the book Metro 2033. This book is an incredible book. I really liked the book and I also played the game so I really enjoyed my time with this book. And what I have to say is basically I'm probably going to make a short film about Metro. Sadly it won't be in a metro station but probably if it snows or the weather really starts to get cold we will shoot, start shooting the film. Uh, first of all in order to make the film I will need actors. Sadly probably I won't be able to find it, find it more a lot of actors probably two or three so don't expect this film to be really good I know you guys really like my films but you know as a filmmaker and everybody in the film industry thinks basically artists mainly think that their their creations are crap so Personally, I believe my films could improve, but they're not that good for me. I mean, yeah. Uh, going about with the book, I will probably not really going to make it about the book, but inspired by the book would be better actually. So, I know I haven't been also making a video about new stuff that I got, things that I wanted to show you guys. So. Since I am going to make a post-apocalyptic uh, short film, I'm going to show you guys the gear that we will use in the short film. Starting off with the gear, here we have almost a complete set of Russian uh, Cold War era, basically 80s, 90s, early 90s era belts. Uh, these are all original of course, but uh, I'm still missing uh, the suspenders and the shovel carrier. Uh, other than that, the canteen, the grenade pouch, and the AK-47 belt pouch. I mean, pouch is here, as you can see. Uh, since I really wanted to be inspired by the metro, since the metro is set in Moscow, in Russia, uh, we were mainly using surplus uh, gear for from Eastern European or Russian gear. So the belt, and next up we have the headgear. Uh, this is not an SSH 48, 40. Sorry, this is actually a, a Polish WZ. Uh, WZ means model in Polish, uh, 50. These are extremely identical to the, the to the uh, Soviet SSH 40s, but the main difference is, of course, the liner, the chin strap, the rivets, here, here, here. Uh, this is also new, you guys, you know, because I used to, I have a chess something chess helmet SSH 40 design it's at my friend's house so we don't have it here um, yeah that's the helmet that we're gonna need to use for the survival list so the survivors basically on the militia um, I'm also thinking about using my World War II stuff since in Metro they're Nazis and Russian, Soviet, Reds, basically communists. Uh, taking off another part, we also have for the gear. Uh, this is actually a Russian manufactured assault vest that is in uh, Slovakian, made for the Slovakian army. As you can see, this is the camouflage that is used by the Slovakian army. I don't know the name of the camouflage, but I mean, we're going to use this. So. Yeah, it's made in the early 90s, so it's old. 
a bit, like 20 years is old for me. <laughs> uh, for the gas masks, uh, I already had a GP7 gas mask, mask, but the problem was the exit valve uh, was broken on it, so I had to buy other gas masks and another one. So ba what I basically did, I will be back, what I basically did, uh, I bought a new uh, GP7 gas mask which is actually was a little bit small to my face this is size one the old one that put the broken ga gas valve uh, in exit valve uh, was really good fit so what I did I taking out take off the let me show you guys I'm uh, taking this part off the other one put it into this one this one is perfect right now it fits me very well and I'm currently working on turning this into like a post-apocalyptic style of that same gas mask so yeah basically you can actually see you probably see the size difference this is size 3 size 1 size 1 is so too small for me uh, I also have another filter for that one uh, we also have another gas mask here uh, which is a GP5 gas mask I know GP5s are mainly gray, but luckily I have the little bit rarer one, the black GP5 gas mask. Uh, yeah, this is size 1 again, but this fits fine to me. I don't know why the GP7 doesn't fit to me, but this fits really well. Uh, we also have actually have a, a hazmat or NBC, nuclear biological chemical suit. Uh, but I cannot take it out right now. It's under the rubble right there, but you know the parts that I have uh, Which where I keep all of my gear uh, So yeah other than that we also for uh, uniform wise I've bought uh, Chez uh, Parka and We also have an Afghanka, but the Afghanka is not with me right now. Uh, I also bought a uh, Really nice um, chess parka. This is gonna be good to use in the film since we're really going to try to film it in a cold weather, so it's gonna keep us warm. Um, other than that, mainly this is the all all of the stuff that I nearly got for this film. Uh, another. Uh, disclaimer I would like to tell you guys that uh, I'm starting my patreon so maybe you can you guys could help me with my patreon and I don't want to beg for money but maybe I will <laughs> uh, because uh, buying these stuff is kind of expensive you know since I'm collecting and doing this stuff of course I have to pay a lot of money you know I have like seven different impressions now for different films so yeah think about it I'm really paying a lot for this stuff so it really it will be really cool if you guys could help me out so yeah thank you um, the film ideas are still continuing you guys still can uh, write down your ideas uh, I will keep making films, but the problem is school just started today, so I don't know if I will able to make films every month or you know twice, like two months, one one time. Like I don't know, I don't know if I will be able to make that. But I'll try to do my best, and I hope you guys will give me ideas. I'm still going to make war films, but right now I really want to make a. Metro 2033 type of post-apocalyptic uh, short film. I mean, that will be really nice. Um, so thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys really like my videos. And please, if you are new to this channel, subscribe, help me out, call, tell me where to get new stuff. I mean, I, I mainly buy stuff from European sites since the shipping costs less to Turkey. So yeah, thank you very much and see you guys later in the next video.